Hey, thanks for clicking on my channel. I want to talk about the new all-terrain that Toyo just came out with, the new AT3 Open Country. I've been lucky enough to do a lot of development testing with Toyo on this product, and uh, I want to share my experiences, what I think, but also why you should consider this tire to purchase. So go ahead and click that seatbelt, because we're going to go for a little ride in the new all-terrain Open Country AT3 from Toyo. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Joe Bacall. We're throwing it sideways today and we're talking about the new Toyo AT3 Open Country. You know, new tire, um, you know, Toyo's been around a long time, especially on that AT2. It's time for change and that AT3 is, uh, you know, is it really. I've been lucky enough to have a lot of test time developing this tire along with Toyo. They, they you know, they trusted me, hired me to give them data and evaluation information to produce, you know, a great tire. And I think they, uh, you know, I think, I think it actually came out really well. Um, we used the AT2 a couple years ago as a target baseline to see what changes needed to be done to improve on this new AT3. That was my job to support Toyo in finding those little, little areas from ride comfort to handling to wet, to, you know, I mean, you name it. We went through every area to improve this new AT3. So let's look at the comparisons between the AT2 and the new AT3. You know, why did Toyo want to improve on the AT2? It's a pretty good tire, it's proven. People, a lot of people have that tire, but at the end of the day, you've got to make the next step. You've got to have the next generation. And that's where the AT3, you know, open country comes into play. You know, I was asked to support them in hitting, you know, certain targets, you know, coming up with target settings to figure out exactly what areas I guess we're lacking or needed improvement on the AT2 and what can they do on the AT3. But what really impressed me was a dry handling. And the reason I say that is um, I like a, a good steering feel, very direct, um, but it matches the, the, you know, your main shaft angle or your, the driver's input, but also being very linear. 
Um, this tire, the new AT3, definitely met those targets. Um, it just it just felt like a, a tuned package for the F350 that I was driving uh, at the time. You know, we tested in a 4x4 F350 crew cab diesel. Um, I mean, I'm throwing this thing around, you know, checking lane, you know, severe lane changes and, and lateral grip and things like that. So the dry handling side of it really excelled. But getting into like, let's say wet stopping or wet handling, the compound changes that they did in the AT3 versus the AT2 were pretty noticeable in wet uh, specifically. From a wet braking and a wet handling side, the compound really gave it more lateral grip. Uh, even on four and a half side is for the braking too. So these, all these small changes just kept getting better and better um, as we were testing this new AT3 that we had um, you know, on the prototype sta uh, stages. So let's talk a little bit about maybe snow, right? Everybody wants a good tire to perform in the snow. Well, what's cool about this tire is it's a three peak snowflake certification you know, tire at this point. Uh, the AT2 was not a three peak cert, but the AT3 is. And when we went up to West Yellowstone, and uh, basically did a confirmation to see how it, you know, how it performed versus the AT2. Um, again, it elevated itself in the fact that it had quite a bit more lateral grip as well as, you know, stopping was, was man, it was really good. So what I noticed is just that whole balance. I, I, I say it a lot, but it just comes back to having that package where it works well everywhere. That's one reason I like this tire. Am I biased? Absolutely. Um, is Toyota my client? You bet. But at the end of the day, I'm testing tires. I'm gonna be straight up with you as well I'm straight up with my clients going, it's either good or it's not. But the AT3 performs. It does its job. I like, not only do I like the way it performs, but I also like the look of it. You know, it's got a new aggressive, just styling. You know, the cleats on the outside are, you know, raised a little bit. It just has a certain look that I like. Um, also, it says Toyo Tires. The logo actually says Toyo Tires, um, and that's kind of new and a first for Toyo um, on this all-terrain. So we tested seven different competitors against the new all-terrain uh, Open Country AT3. I'm not gonna get into all the details and all the differences between some of the competitors. Um, I mean, we're talking, these are top, top tires, no question about it. You know, kind of where did the AT3 fall in? Is it on the bottom? Is it on the top? I'm gonna say it's in the it's in the top tier area for sure. Did it beat out some of the best tires? You know, in the industry, it absolutely did in some categories. Um, is it kind of middle of the road in others? It is. So I look at it like you know, it just it meets the targets, but it also it's very very. Um, well-rounded and you know it's you know obviously it's got the three peak snowflake now that elevated it right away but what I noticed was and I'm not going to name the, the tire that it just it really did a lot better um, in comparison to but I will say that you know it, it it doesn't feel firm on the snow and what I mean by that sometimes you're going over some ruts that are just frozen I um, mean I was making these really big uh, you know lane change maneuvers on this perfectly groomed surface and it was starting to get a little bit rutted out. And when you would cross over that, it started to get more firm and some tires were really noticeable to the point where it was almost too harsh. Well, the AT3, it just, it just had a nice clean, very, very low impact, very well damped tire feel. Um, but not only that, it didn't step out, it, it held its line. I mean, these are things that I look at when I'm testing that other tires, uh, other manufacturers that I'm testing, I was, I was surprised that some of the competitors were just way off the mark. I mean, even with the three peak uh, snowflake, they didn't compete. And I think that, you know, that's a whole nother video. So we also did some wet testing in the new AT3 and, you know, we're at a, uh, a controlled environment. We're at a test track. You know, at the end of the day, you want to make sure everything is the same and consistent, same speeds coming into your corners, the same amount of water on the surface things like that. So it's easy to see differences between one tire and the next. And one thing that I noticed was from the AT2 Toyo to the AT3, the speeds were a little bit higher on the AT3 because we had more lateral grip. Um, the reason we had more lateral grip was simply because of that compound change and that tread design. These are the, some of the targets that we set initially early on and we're able to hit those targets. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, from an LT to a P metric. What makes the most sense for your vehicle 
Um, if you've got a big F-350, you know, crew cab, you want to definitely go with the LT. You're going to be probably towing and things like that. But if you've got a soft rotor, we call them now, uh, like the Subarus and, and the unibody vehicles, you probably want to go with a P-Metric. Um, these tires are designed for those types of vehicles. So, uh, you know, check that out. Make sure you get the right size, you know, and the right, uh, the right tire for your vehicle. So one of the cool things I thought you guys would enjoy was I put together a little behind the scenes, some footage that was shot uh, when we were doing the actual promo video at the test track. Um, you don't always get to see that, you know, we move from testing to stunt driving and, you know, you got camera cars, I'm following a Ford Raptor you'll see in the video. And, uh, you know, the guys that were shooting it, uh, you know, they shoot all the Ken Block videos and, I mean, BJ Baldwin, I mean, these guys are just gnarly dudes. A company, their company's called Tempt Media, I'm sure you may, may even heard of them. Uh, but uh, had a lot of fun uh, working with these guys. Hope you enjoy it. So my goal in this video was simply just to share my information um, from a test driver standpoint and really, you know, kind of how we got from the AT2 to the AT3 and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe, leave me some comments, I'll answer, you know, everything I can um, that helps you make that decision to, uh, to maybe purchase the, the new open country from Toyo.